What a great show we have got, and we're going to be kicking it all off with a bang. We have got the first of two Money in the Bank ladder matches. This one for a title shot for the World Heavyweight Championship. And what a great way to kick off this exciting Money in the Bank 2013 pay-per-view. Cody Rhodes making his way out first. The interesting part about this match is that only one of these men is a former world champion. The other men have never been champion before. So what a great chance for them to finally take that next step to get a shot to become the world champion. Coming out second, it's going to be Wade Barrett representing England, of course. Let's see if Wade Barrett can bring some success back to the UK. Wade Barrett, of course, multiple time US and intercontinental champion. Never been world champion, as I've said already. So, great opportunity for Wade Barrett tonight. The same goes for the next man, former United States champion Antonio Cesaro. A great opportunity for him. An internet favourite, that's for sure. But for some reason, never quite got to that world title level so far in his early WWE career. But if he can win tonight's World Championship Money in the Bank ladder match, then surely Antonio Cesaro has got a great shot of becoming champion. Because as we know, previous Money in the Bank winners, aside from one, have always gone on to win their respective championship. So it's more or less a guaranteed title reign. For whoever wins this Money in the Bank ladder match tonight. But the next man coming out. The self-proclaimed saviour of the masses. It is going to be Damien Sandow. Slowly but surely making his way to the ring. Drinking in all the boosts in the crowd tonight. You can hear we have got a very loud crowd here at Money in the Bank. And they are not fans of Damien Sandow clearly. But still, whether you love the guy or hate the guy, you cannot deny Damien Sandow, a phenomenal athlete here in the WWE. And if he wins tonight, then he is going to be a worthy Money in the Bank winner. Coming up next, the only man in this match who has been a world champion before, without being Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. Jack Swagger winning Money in the Bank at WrestleMania several years ago now. Before the following week, cashing in on Chris Jericho, who was world champion at the time. And Jack Swagger via Money in the Bank becoming a world champion. The final man in this match, of course, representing the Shield, the current United States champion. It is going to be Dean Ambrose rounding off this match. Dean Ambrose is the favourite by many fans I've spoken to here in the arena. But of course, we will see as this match progresses whether Dean Ambrose, who is solo tonight, can be the brand new Mr. Money in the Bank. We will see though, because we are only moments away from this first Money in the Bank match kicking off. And here we go. So six men, you can see the ring surrounded by ladders. The winner of this match is going to be getting that briefcase for a future world title shot any time of their choosing in the next 12 months. As I said before, all of these men aside from one have never been world champion before. The one single world champion in this match, Jack Swagger. So possibly Jack Swagger with a slight advantage over the other men. Though do not discount these other men despite not being former world champions. There is no doubt about it, they are phenomenal athletes and definitely future world champions in their own right. And if they can win this ladder match, then that is going to be more or less guaranteeing themselves a future world heavyweight championship reign. And speaking of the world championship, that is going to be on the line later on tonight because it is going to be Dolph Ziggler versus the world champion Alberto Del Rio. All that and much more still to come. Do not forget, we have got another Money in the Bank ladder match. That match is going to be for the WWE Championship. That is going to be one of tonight's double main events. So as I said, all that and much more still to come. 
But this Money in the Bank ladder match kicking off in a great way. You can see all six men pairing off now. We have got Dean Ambrose, Antonio Cesaro. We have got Cody Rose going on that with Wade Barrett. And in the ring, we have got Jack Swagger taking on Damian Sandow. And an interesting part of this match is that all six of these guys are actually disliked by the WWE Universe. So none of these men are the typical faces in this match. All six men hate it pretty much by all the rest of the fans here tonight. So it's going to be interesting if any of these six unpopular superstars actually get any popularity tonight. We will see though. We can see the ladder set up and turn it to Zaro. Climbing early. Going to be going for the briefcase. Can he get it? Oh, but Jack Swagger there to save the day. It's also going to be interesting to see whether this new tag team and alliance between Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro, whether that actually happens in this match, or whether that alliance is going to be temporarily forgotten and it is going to be as the match intended, every man for himself. We will see, though, because Jack Swagger now in the ring with Antonio Cesaro, with Dean Ambrose as well. But so far, limited interaction between the pair. Wade Barrett setting that ladder up in the corner. What is Barrett thinking? Apparently not too much. Leaving that ladder now outside of the ring he goes. Oh, Jack Swagger, that big arm breaker onto Damian Sandow. Wade Barrett again with that ladder. But not doing too much because Jack Swagger just throwing Barrett headfirst into that ladder. So that not paying off for the English from this time. But Cody Rhodes, middle of the ring now, along with Damian Sandow. Oh, the Rhodes Scholars, normally a tag team. But both going for that Money in the Bank briefcase and both tag team members dropping down that big fall to the mat. That is not going to be good for either man, that is for sure. A very even match so far. It will be hard to say who, if anyone, has got any advantage so far because every single man has been taking plenty of punishment so far. And Antonio Cesaro again on that ladder. Setting the ladder up. Going to be climbing once again. Can Antonio Cesaro pull that briefcase down? No, he cannot. Dean Ambrose, the member of the Shield, taking him off. Oh, what a move there by Damian Sandow. We can see Sandow and Rhodes, as we know, normally tag team partners. But every man for himself here tonight. These two guys going at it. Big net breaker now. Taking Cody Rhodes down again. Cesaro again. An unsuccessful ladder attempt. Dean Ambrose knocking him off once again. And now throwing Cesaro onto the outside of the ring. It's Antonio there holding his leg. Not quite sure whether he's tweaked that knee. Fallen off that ladder. He has fallen off the ladder a couple of times already. So keep an eye on that injury. Let's see if anything develops within that. Alan Swagger thrown to the outside. Sandow now being set up on the top rope. This is not going to be good for Damian Sandow. What is Cody Rose going for? Oh, the reverse suplex crushing Damian Sandow's head down on that ladder. Oh, and Antonio Cesaro now, that big neck breaker off that ladder. That huge super neck breaker off this 15 foot high steel ladder. Taking Dean Ambrose out of his boots almost. Wade Barrett again with another unsuccessful ladder attempt. But what a match this has been so far. Kicking off this great pay-per-view. We have got six matches in total. We have got this match. We have got the other Money in the Bank ladder match. We have got the world title match between Alberto Del Rio and Dolph Ziggler. We have got the WWE Championship match between John Cena and Mark Henry. Not to mention we have got... Chris Jericho versus Ryback 
and also Curtis Axel defending his Intercontinental Championship against The Miz. So all that and more still to come tonight. As I keep saying, this is going to be a phenomenal pay-per-view. So definitely stay tuned for the duration of the show because of much more great matches still to come. But speaking of great matches, what a match this has been. Still underway after 10 minutes or so, so far. Wayne Barrett though, go for the wasteland. Wasteland on the Dean Ambrose, onto the ladder almost. This could be a great opportunity for Wade Barrett to get that ladder, but easier said than done with six men in this contest. It only takes one to pull you down, so it is going to be super hard to actually get an opportunity to climb that ladder, let alone pull down the briefcase. But it is going to be happening sooner rather than later. Oh, and a big hip toss there inside the ring. Cody Rhodes being smashed down on that ladder by Jack Swagger, the All-American. And now right side of the screen. The neutralizer, Antonio Cesaro delivering the neutralizer to the self-proclaimed saviour of the masses, Damien Sandow. The big scoop slam taking the US champion down again. Ray Barrett, of course, a former IC champion. Go for, oh, sit down, power bomb onto Dean Ambrose, onto that ladder, it looked like. Dean Ambrose head and neck, smashed off that ladder. Not quite sure if that was on purpose or not, but that move definitely paid off for the Englishman. Wade Barrett, the favourite by many of the fans here in the arena tonight. We will see, though, if Barrett can be the first Englishman to beat Mr. Money in the Bank and be the first Englishman to ever become the WWE All-World Champion. But he's doing great so far. Another suplex once again. Sending Dean Ambrose through to that still ladder. Dean Ambrose, US Champion. Member of the Shield, of course. Not having a great match so far. Multiple times has been sent crashing into that 15-foot high still ladder. And it is not going to be any better because Dean Ambrose just be a throw near the, announce, near the announce table. But somehow, someway, managing to slowly get away from Wade Barrett. Or at least away from the announcers table. Other side of the ring. You can see Jack Swagger. Cody Rose going at it. Oh and Damien Sano on top left. What a move on to Antonio Cesaro. A trademark move there by Sandow. Taking Antonio Cesaro out of this match. At least momentarily. Sandow on the ring of that ladder. Doing the right thing. But as I said before. With so many men in this contest. It is going to be hard. To actually get an opportunity to set that ladder up and climb that ladder to take down that briefcase. But we just saw another neutralizer. And now Antonio Cesaro once again climb the ladder. Oh, he's got his hands on it. Can Antonio Cesaro pull down that money in the bank briefcase? Sandow about to put him down. Oh, he's got it. Antonio Cesaro has done it. Despite Sandow nearly pulling him down. And Tierney Cesaro has done it. The former United States champion winning his biggest match in his career. Antonio Cesaro is the brand new Mr. Money in the Bank in the World Heavyweight Championship side. So Antonio Cesaro has a world title shot to cash in whenever he wants over the next 12 months but who is this backstage